Okay, do you know what's so amazing about back to school? Is that this girl, along with her teenage sisters, slept in till past 1 p.m. almost every single day <laughs> of the Falling summer. Asleep. And Kaylee's right here on the couch. <laughs> And then school hits and you get one night of falling asleep at 7.30 and you're like right on schedule. You woke up today without me waking you up before, well right about 8 o'clock, right? It's not going to be like this forever. I'm just proud of you. You got up on your own, you listened to your alarm. She does have different clothes underneath besides the sweatshirt. Does have a cute shirt under there. But I walked past her desk today, or her desk, her room today, and she was awake already, downstairs, getting breakfast, packing her lunch. Fantastic. All right. As much as I want to sit and finish editing, sorry for fans, it's going to be 90 degrees again today, we have a heat warning, fantastic. All of my kids are finally at school. I've been editing while I waited for them to go to school. It is now 10 a.m. The three older ones have late start, so on Wednesdays. So they just all barely left. Kaylee was home this morning, um, passed out on the couch. Not passed out. She had her friend here with her because um, they had senior sunrise this morning at 6 a.m. So they left here at 5:45, which means her friend had to get up at like 5:30 and be here to get Kaylee get over to the high school so they were tired they got here at like eight o'clock when i was getting up with ashley and uh so they're they're gonna have a really <laughs> exhausting day today luckily we have leftover lasagna for them to eat because i will be gone all evening i won't be able to make a meal for them tonight they all can make their own meal but they'll just have to have leftovers it's not like there's a lack of food in this fridge or that they don't know how to cook so it's early let out for Ashley today, so I only have like four hours until she's home. And she has an appointment, and then I have my full night ahead of me. And I have to go to Target to get my prescription. I am praying that it's the correct one. I have had a message from my nurse saying, okay, I think we found the right medication. I need you to go on this, and then I need you to call me, or go get the medicine, and then call me because I need to show you how to do the injections. Yes, you heard that right. If it's the right medication that they filled and that my insurance actually covered it, I will be stabbing myself and I need to go learn how to do it. So I'm gonna go to Target. You're gonna come with me for this process. This is what I wanted to talk to you about the other day. I can't open all the doors with my water in my hand. Um, let me get my AirPod holder. I, I've never done this before, never had to inject do needles and myself before so this is all kind of new to me so I've just got to like I'm just, I'm just worried that the they didn't fill the right prescription because uh, start my car won't start this is the last thing I need it scared the crap out of me I was really struggling to get the brake to push hard enough to get the ignition to go through anyway I haven't ever done any kind of a needle anything and so I need to learn how to do it but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go right into the nurse after I find out if I have the right medication and so I have a few errands that I've planned just in case I have a little bit of time to wait so I don't have to come back home and then go back out so come along with me and let's go through this process my doctor has told me well we'll talk about the medication if it's right and we'll talk about medication in just a second. All right, the pharmacy got the right medication. I'm trying to do this discreetly. They got the right medication. But now I need to call and figure out getting into the nurse and figuring out how to use this because I have no idea. All right, my nurse, the doctor's nurse, just called me. I have my little pens here to check out my information. This is what I am being prescribed to take. Victoza is what it's called. And there are these little pen injectors. And there's I think there's no needle in it. She said they didn't prescribe it this time, but they will in the future. Um, and the nurse just called me and she was like, oh, you can come in now. And I was like, yeah, I'm in the car. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. 
And she's like, perfect. <laughs> so um, we talked for a second and um, she's like, come on in, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then um, I have to increase the doses over the next couple weeks because they don't want me to do it all at once. And so um, we're gonna go and talk about that. <sighs> kind of nervous, but I'm gonna see if she'll let me like kind of film it. Just that I remember how to do it, I guess, you know? But we'll see. I, usually they don't like us to film in the doctor's office, so I'll see what I can get. Kind of getting nervous now. I'm glad I got the right medication. Um, we'll talk about the side effects as soon as I learn. I already know one side effect. <laughs> it's not gonna be pleasant. But we'll talk about that more after. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. Okay. I didn't film in there. It was too close to quarters and. She was very intent on teaching me all the things I needed to know. So I do, I can do the injections in my stomach. I can do them in my arm, my, my back arm, but that's just too hard to do. Stomach or outside of my thighs or, um, turn on this so you don't get blown away with sound. Um, she just showed me how to uh, clean, you know, my stomach with alcohol pad and then, um, how to use the pen and get the air bubble out and how to put the needle in. It's funny because my, my doctor didn't actually prescribe me the needles. Like, so I didn't have any needles <laughs> to use. And so the nurse gave me some, like she gave me nine and my doctor's out of town, I think for the rest of this week, I don't know. Um, and so she has to get a new prescription for me. So I have enough needles to get me to next week. So I do these every single day and she's like it, it is best to do it like at the same time and so tomorrow i'll just kind of eke the time back to like when i first wake up um so it might take a couple days or she's like or you can just go willy-nilly and like just push it back to when you want to wake up and have a routine of doing it she's like it, it won't matter too much um but going forward it 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 helps your system to be on a regular routine with doing the injection and side effects are being nauseous and the good side effect is that it curbs your appetite <laughs> other than that um, that's really all that any nurse or doctor has told me um, but then it does obviously like do something in your system to help you regulate and drop your a1c drop weight um, so I am keeping track of my weight I'm keeping track of my water intake and now I'm keeping track of my steps and um, the doctor has told me, she's like, you are going to start to see drastic drops in weight if you continue to keep this good routine and doing these um, injections. So I am i don't wanna like set my hopes high by any means, um, but I am hoping to see something start to happen, even if I feel kind of cruddy, but this is why I wanted to kind of start it when the kids were in school gosh so anyway side note my friend who has a baby shower tonight she's in labor here at the hospital literally she's like upstairs in labor this happens anytime and I'm involved with a baby shower um, every mom that I've been involved with helping a baby shower goes into labor early so if you any of my friends want to like have their baby early just have me be, be involved um, and so she's my the one that's hosting the party she's like what do we do and I was like well the last time this happened she was having triplets and the mom um, went into labor when the party was starting and so we had everyone deliver all of these gifts and I had food and I was like well everyone just stay and chat and eat the food because I don't know where it's gonna go and then I delivered all the stuff to my friend when she came home from the hospital the kids were in NICU for a while but anyway so that's kind of what I'm kind of trying to arrange um, with the host my friend <laughs> so because I didn't film doing my actual injection I will probably hold this video open and 
I don't know, maybe it's a little TMI, a little invasive, but I kind of feel like showing the process and showing that it's not so scary, like the needle was barely a prick. Like it hurts worse to step on Legos <laughs> than this needle prick did. And so I'm gonna hold this video out till tomorrow morning when I go and do my second injection. Maybe I'll have Jason help me. I'll get up when he gets up and he can kind of help show um, it, the, funny, the funny thing is, she's like, oh, well, I don't want you to do it in any kind of scar tissue. And then she you know, looks at my stomach and she's like, oh, you have a lot of stretch marks. I'm like, I've had four children. And <laughs> she's like, you know what, those aren't necessarily like scar tissue per se. She's like, just don't do it into a scar tissue or into a stretch mark. Um, but <laughs> I will have to mildly show um, my stretch marks if I am going to show doing the injection but I also you know I don't I don't want to say that I'm using medication to get away with losing weight I'm I'm doing everything that I physically and mentally can um, to help myself and right now I need some medical intervention to help me um, get into a better place and I feel like once I get into a better place and I have a better routine and better habits then it's going to I'll be able to stabilize it and keep it going forward and so I you know it is what it is some people want to just do this on a um, self routine kind of path and that's fine that's what I've been trying to do for the past year and maybe I'm not making good enough choices and I need to curb my habits but um, you know I'm just doing the best I can and I appreciate all of you who have commented lately or in the past um, your support and maybe you're going through the same thing maybe you haven't done this medication yet but you're worried enough about having to do that so you're really dedicated and doing things on your own hats off to you guys you're doing great I have a high addiction for coke and we know that I've cut out um, most of my coke consumption but I this is Wendy's, but um, I do love Coke from McDonald's, and I have that like once every other day or so. So I have to curb my own things. I have to like, you know, figure out what things I can have and what things I can't. And um, I also like French fries. So, <laughs> you know, I just I'm doing the best I can, and I want to still live life and I want to enjoy it, but I want to find the things that I can do the healthiest that I can to still be able to have some chips every once in a while to enjoy life because I don't want to like just be you know eating and not being not excited about eating because I don't want that either but I'm going to keep on with my day I will be back with you in the morning as we do my first, second actual injection all right I'm next morning I'm trying to wake up enough Jason's got to go to work so I, I'm going to do this earlier than I wanted to <laughs> but I want him to be able to kind of film me doing this. All right, so I have my needle. It, what is this? It, this is the needle oh. right here. So I take the little, actually before I do that, I should clean off. I've got alcohol. I don't have any cotton pads. So I've got a little bit of um, alcohol here, and then I'm gonna clean my site. Okay. All right, I'm being self-conscious here, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna clean the site, a little bit of alcohol, and let it air dry. So while it does that, tuck it under my boob. I'm gonna take my needle and my pen. Right now my pen is at zero. Okay, so I've got my needle and then I'm going to stick it on like that. And then, oops, shoot. Twist. Twist it until it's tight. Okay, and then this comes off. I need this for later. And then I take this off and throw that away. So can you see the needle? Uh, it's hard to get it. It's as good as the other way. It got a little bit shot. Yep. Okay. So it's a tiny needle and I turn the little dial down here. Um, you have to like tap it and then I punch it one time to get any air bubbles out. Like squirts out and kind of tap it off so there's no bubbles in there and then it 
should be reset to zero down here. And then I turn it until there's my dose. And I'm gonna start out with half a dose for a week so that I don't have like a whole thing dolting my system. Okay, now we just insert it. And then I'm gonna make sure it's in. And then I'm going to inject um, and hold it for six seconds. It's really quick, so just you want me to tell show you. this? Yeah, sure. Okay. So it's in. And then I one, two, three, four, five, six, and straight out. Huh. That's it. Alright. And then I take my cap. Untwist my needle. That comes off. Then I have to put my lid back on the pen. And then I take these. Now that I have like raw needles, I she said take old laundry detergent tubs that I have and stick them in there. And then I after I have like you know, a month supply or whatever. I can take it down to, oh, I can't remember where she said. Those medical places. Yeah, they, they, you can dispose of your needle. So you don't want to just throw them away. So that's it, that's my process. And uh, I have to do that every day now. I can do it myself. I just wanted Jason here to be able to film it for me. We'll see if I start having side effects. I don't know, <laughs> see when I'm gonna start having them. This is my day two of taking him. Um, we'll just come on the journey with me and Yes, this is weight loss. That's what this is for. Um, but it's preventative for pre-diabetes and for other health problems. So I'm trying my best to start this journey and be better. I've already got my tank top on to go for a walk this morning. Come along with me. Take care. Bye, guys. the magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.